Um, okay, so when you calculate the area of a triangle, you um, will often use the formula of one half base times height, right? So what's the base? What's the height? In this lesson, I want to foc focus on just identifying height. I mean, a lot of word they'll just give you a word problem. We'll say the base is blah blah blah. The height is blah blah blah. What's the area? Okay. In that case, you don't really have to think about what height means. They just tell you what it is, or what its value is, not what it is, but they just give you a number. Well, what does it mean? All right. So the height of a triangle is the shortest distance from the base to the vertex it faces. So, and um, by being the shortest distance, it'll necessarily be perpendicular to the base. It'll form a right angle. So here's what I mean. Um, so you call one side the base. It doesn't matter which side, except for the fact that um, some sides will be easier to calculate the height from, or to identify the height from. Um, so for example, let's just start with this isosceles triangle. This will be the easiest one. No, actually, the easiest one will be the right triangle. This will be the second easiest one, but we'll do it first. Um, and uh, so we'll do an isosceles triangle. That's a triangle with um, two congruent sides. Then we'll do a right triangle. Um, and then we'll do this obtuse triangle with this gigantic monster angle. Um, an obtuse triangle is a triangle with an angle that's greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. Well, it has to be less than 180 degrees, um, or else it couldn't be a triangle anymore. But anyway, um, so we'll find the height, find a height for each one of these. We'll start with this isosceles. So we'll call this the base. Um, that'll be the easiest. You can call the other side, one of the other sides, a base. That's fine, but hopefully it'll be clear why this is easy. Well, I'll show you. Actually, I will show you the other way. Um, okay, so the vertex that it faces is this one. The vertex is the corner of a triangle. So, uh, we don't want that, we want this. So it's the shortest distance, and it forms a right angle. Oops. There. Okay. So if you can draw a line that forms a right angle with the base, that's the height. Now we could have so I'll s so I'll show you that we could we could call this the base. Switch colors now. Um, the vertex opposite it is this one. So then the height would be a, a perpendicular line segment that goes like this and forms a uh, right angle here. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Okay. Now let's look at this right triangle. Um, by the way, I should mention, this is an acute triangle. Um, it's a triangle where all the angles are less than 90 degrees, okay? Uh, so, acute, uh, those, are, those are pretty simple to find the heights for. Um, right triangles, triangles where there's a 90 degree angle, are, are even easier because what you want to do is call one of one of these sides one of the sides that's not the hypotenuse call that the base so we're going to call that the base you are the base um, and then so the height is um, the shortest distance from the base to the vertex opposite it and it forms the right angle well the shortest distance is actually that other side length right so if, if this is if this is three, let's say, and this is four, these side lengths, well the base is three and the height is four. Boom. That's probably the easiest because it's just there. This one you would have to use the Pythagorean theorem. If you knew the side lengths, you could use the Pythagorean theorem. You know, see how this forms a right triangle? You could use that to figure out, you know, if you know this side and you know this side, then you could figure out this side with the Pythagorean theorem and find the find the height. Alright. Let us look at this obtuse triangle. Um, so it's got this angle that's between 90 and 180 degrees, so that makes it obtuse. And it's not so bad. It looks looks bad, but um, probably what I would want to do, what I'd be inclined to do, is to call this side the base. Um, you 
you are the base. And then we want to, so this is the vertex opposite it. So we'd want to draw a perpendicular line segment connecting the base. Well, I mean, this is the, this is just me highlighting the base, this squiggly, messy line. Uh, this is the actual, the base, and this is something random. So if that, far, if that forms a 90 degree angle, we're good to go, right? So that's the height. Um, so don't get caught up with the word base um, and height because, you know, base you think on the bottom. And yeah, I could flip this triangle around so that this, this really is the bottom, but it doesn't matter that it's not on the bottom the way it's oriented now. Um, so you call any side the base, and once you call it the base, then you want to connect that base to the vertex across from it with a line segment that is perpendicular to the base, meaning it's the shortest distance from the base to the vertex, and that is your height.